Hey, what's up? It's Cole Lander from The Great Muffin Queens, and I'm going to show you a special effect for um, the movie that came out called uh, Harry Potter 7. I'm a huge fan of the series, and I saw this, and I decided it was a pretty cool effect, and I do a tutorial on it, so here we go. It's the force field around Hogwarts slowly vanishing. Um, I didn't make it totally vanish, but it, it, it's like a 20 second long comp, so yeah. Control M to just make a new project here. Or, oh, start a new comp. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, this is what the actual effect was. It's better than mine. There's like some smoke and on the edges it looks pretty cool. But, I think mine looks okay. I don't... I don't know. So control I or file import file to get a picture and I just found this on Google. I think I just typed in Hogwarts. It's like the first thing that popped up. I'll just drag it into the timeline there. And it is a still image. I didn't mean to see that. Okay. Sorry. Don't sue me. <laughs> didn't see that before. Anyways, uh, yeah, we can just stretch that out. <laughs> there we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is do a little bit of color correction. So, just to make this look cool, but look like it's nighttime. So just drag out a curves and then a hue and saturation. I just turned down the overall saturation of the image, um, and that makes the colors pop out less. And I get, if you put it all the way down, it's black and white. Uh, somewhere around there. That looks cool. I'm gonna just add contrast to the image. It's a lot of contrast, but okay. Go to the red channel. Just take it down. Not so much. Blue channel. And just darken the like, blues and up in the other ones. You know. Not like that. And then you can go to the green channel. And just bump it up a little bit. Now go shifty to duplicate it. And the one underneath, hit reset. And just make sure you're on RBG and just overall darken the image. Make sure this is the one that's underneath. Alright, that'll be good. H to this. Okay, so I have to get moving. So control M, start a new composition. Okay. Uh, control Y to make a new solid or go to layer new solid. I get, got like an orangish one. Okay, and this is going to be the color of your force field thing. And hit control D to duplicate that solid. And whichever one. Uh, just pick one and go to effect, noise and grain, fractal noise, and yes, we will be creating a mat. Yeah. Alright, just boost up the contrast so it's more definite. There's not like much of a grayscale in between the white and black. It's, you're either white or you're black. Or, like, there's a little grayscale in there. Sorry if that sounds racist. I'm not racist. Turn down the complexity, maybe. Okay. Stopwatch evolution. Just come to the end and I'll have it come up by like. by like four. 
Let's see. You don't want it to be moving too fast. Right, that will be good. Now, keyframe, go to the beginning. Keyframe brightness. Put it more on the downside. Then go to the end and put it way up. Cool. Now, if you don't see the track mat, hit toggle switches and modes. And then uh, make it to Lula Mat Inverted or in Solid 1. And this is our force field thing depleted. And just so that you can see, I'm going to check transparency. So that you can see it in transparent mode. Okay, and that's actually really cool. And that's what we want. Okay, now we're going to go to our Hogwarts composition. Go to your project. Hit, go to Comp 1. Drag it in, make sure it's on top of the Hogwarts image. And go to find the plugin sphere. Just type in sphere. It's perspective CC sphere. Take it. Drag it out. And it turns it into this round spherical thing, which is actually pretty sweet. And what I'm gonna do is well obviously it needs to be bigger so I'm just gonna like move it let's scale it up T bring that down a little bit a little more and uh, all right the force field is depleting what are we gonna do? Okay, then I'm going to take my mask, uncheck the eye, I come over here, uncheck the eye so it's not visible, but we're still, make sure it's selected, you know, do a very, very rough mask, it does not have to be a beautiful mask. And come over here and check the eye again. Hit F and just feather it to some extent. And that looks pretty cool. Cool. Now I'm gonna select it. Control Control D. The one on bottom. I'm gonna go to Effect, Learn, Sharpen, Fast Blur, and just put up the blurriness um, so that it looks kind of cool. We want a little bit of a spill out onto the rest of the composition. I'm gonna hit T. And just drag that up a little. And I'm also gonna take my elliptical mask and shift and just drag a mask. Move this mask over here. Then I'm gonna go to change it to subtract so it looks pretty nice. Now that looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah, we're done. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.